Getting the snake motion. First of all, insert a new symbol. Now I've created one already and um, I'm going to open that. It's a movie symbol. Now I've created some pre-existing things here already of our snake motion. We'll come to those later. Fold that up for now and in a new layer on the first frame get the pen tool and pull down and then come across from that and down and pull down so you create a curve in that direction come back across and straight under the first one you could measure it down and get it exactly but I like to get it a little bit arbitrary because um, we're creating an organic snake we don't want a scientific experiment but I'm just adjusting this to get a reasonably nice curve you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to adjust it and just adjust it around until you feel like that's a good snake shape I want quite generous curves uh, maybe a little bit more curve on that something like that I'm not going to get too too fussy because I've got things to do now we then go to the end of our span I've given it 40 frames you can choose 40 is probably about right and insert a keyframe go in between those and insert a keyframe now on this keyframe we're going to use the white arrow key to select here and track that over with the arrow keys until it's above our second keyframe and then we're going to use this one to track back over so it's above the next one this one comes back over this way and finally the bottom one comes over under here so it's the reverse of our first okay we're then going to add a shape tween on this keyframe and this keyframe now this won't work yet it just flips it around but if we then go to the first keyframe modify shape add shape hints put the A here and do another one modify shape add shape hints and put the B on this curve here we go to our keyframe we put the B down here we put the A up there I think that's right you can see we're starting to get a snake motion um, we do the same to this one modify shape add shape hints put the A up here modify shape at shape hints and put the B this time up on this curve we'll go to our final keyframe the B now goes down here and the A stays up there and then we get a reasonable snake motion but you see it's the top and bottom ones keep that curve they keep a very stiff curve and we want them to curve around in a different way so we're going to half destroy what we've got to get finally a much better motion so we go in between both of these again and add a keyframe and in between here add a keyframe now on each of these we're now going to go and reverse this curve so this is a little more refined you can see here how messed that up it messed up that is and you can see it flashes added in all these extra 
control vectors. Select them one at a time and delete them. Now if you're having trouble seeing them, double click here and make the colour something that's going to stand out against the colour that you've got. I think green might be good. Now I'm also going to get rid of that one and then get this vector and stretch that curve out. It'll be hard to select these sometimes and this time this curve now curves around this way which will give us a nice even curve. Spend a little bit of time getting these right and it's wonderful. Now I don't have that much time to really get this exactly right. I'm going to do it pretty roughly. If you ever can't get any of these or you know they get impossible to adapt, you can always come in and grab the convert tool and re-stretch re them out. Um, if one's giving you problems, just get rid of it. You can also track them down a little bit. It's just so it's got a, a reasonably nice curve, one curving inwards. Okay, go back to here and the same thing. Get rid of these, that, that, Probably that one. Get this one. Stretch that curve out. Get this curve and curve it back around that way. Get rid of anything. It's basically simplifying it down so that the whole thing has less. That's good. And there's one up here still. Is it just does take a little bit of time. Once you get good at editing um, splines, the world's your oyster. That's the one. You can see here, sometimes you have to unselect to get the... That's not perfect, but that will do. Okay, then what we've got to do is delete all of our previous um, shape hints and then add new ones in there. Only on this frame and this frame shape, shape hints so we should be able to then come back in and do those again. Shape Add shape hints. A goes here. Modify shape. B goes here. B is here. A is here. Okay, add one for here. And you go through and do all of, you know, go, you know, finish that process off. Add shape hints. Put the a up here, uh, add shape, add shape hints, and put the B here, and then on the, where, where it ends up, the B is now down here, the A is still up here, and then you get a really nice motion. And then you do that to the other side. And then what you get is this. Now, you can go through and then change the colour of each one. So by selecting it, you can then go and just go, okay, I want that colour there to be you know, this colour. And it'll tween between them. Okay, once you've done that, go into a scene and pull your snake motion just in there, you can see I've made four of these trying to get this tutorial right. Once it's there, if you select it on the on the page and then um, uh, then go properties, you can see you've got the properties for that symbol. You can then go into 
add filter and say glow and put glows on that in different ways um, all sorts of things and bevel's a good one um, just play around with that so that let's say for instance the color that's glowing on it wonderful to see it you have to go control test scene you can see one of them I haven't I took the but anyway okay that's it that's I've got to get this as short as I can um, so thanks give it a go